Hello everyone, welcome to Scorch Earth Toys at AnyMoon.com's transformation guide for the Evolution Toy Legios. Now in 4K and now including the additional steps that are necessary with the new shoulder array introduced on the Zeta version. If you're looking for these toys, look no further than Big Bad Toy Store. I've got a link in the comments below. Click that link, you'll help out the channel and you'll find these toys and lots of other great options. To begin, we are going to collapse the landing gear and we're gonna remove any guns that we might have attached. So that is step one, and I don't think you need me to show it to you. Step two, we're gonna turn the toy around and we are going to just make sure that these are unpegged. Uh, they should be pegged in ever so lightly, but they just unpeg fairly easily, just a little pressure upward. And then we're gonna turn our attention to the bottom of the toy. Now I did have a hard point fall off, but you can ignore that. Check out my review separately for sure. We are going to just pull down on this leg and push up on this leg a little bit, and that will reveal a peg and a slot inside. Once those are free, we can just kind of hold and pull towards the bottom and extend this leg the entire way. So again, I'll do it here. Just hold and pull. Once those are extended, it's pretty easy to turn the leg and just go ahead and push down the peg on this side and push up the peg on that side. Your toy should look like this now. And what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck these fins away so I can lay the toy on its back. And from there, what we're gonna do is just bring the leg forward at the hip. Now you wanna still have that knee facing you as you do this, like I have it facing the camera. Otherwise, there's not quite enough clearance up at the chest. Then you're gonna rotate the leg forward and there should be just enough clearance to make that work. We're gonna take our kneecap, we're gonna pull that forward and then that allows us to really ratchet that leg forward and we can then open up the feet all of the way and repeat on the other side. And your toy should now be in this sort of sweet VTOL look. What we're gonna do is just bring the wings down. We're going to swing the arm around there's a hinge the arm is on, so we can just bring it down at that point. We can just apply pressure and extend the arm all the way down, and you'll know because you've got the point of articulation there and the elbow working. We're gonna go ahead and open up this bay here and rotate out our hand. Now, your hand might be in two pieces. It is two pieces that come together. These fingers are separate. Not a big deal if it is, you're gonna go ahead and just plug those fingers on at this point. And then you're gonna close this up and you want it to be still protruding a little. It shouldn't be completely flat with the edge of the arm. And then you're gonna repeat on the other side. Now you're in diver mode without the shoulder array. So we have to pop that shoulder array free. It's got a peg in the back, a peg in the front, and you're gonna have to just kind of wiggle jiggle to get access to those pegs. So there you can see I've got the peg in the back free. And by pulling up just a little bit, it's begun this trap door in the back. So we can go ahead and lift that up and get that out of the way. And then we can wiggle jiggle a little bit more towards the front and get this front peg free. Now it's a double hinge. So you do have to wiggle jiggle a little bit to get it to flip over. Once it's flipped over, you've got your array free. You can pull up the antenna and then rock that forward. Now the antenna is a little bent. It doesn't quite fit in there perfectly. So that uh, convinced Evolution Toy to revisit that design for their Zeta version. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. Just one last step is to close that door back up. And there you go, you are in diver mode. Here is my Zeta toy at about the same transformation step where I need to go ahead and pull out that sensor array. Now I've got a little bit of ability to put a fingernail in there and pull that up first. And you can see there is something different going on. This is now broken into two. We're gonna go ahead, same idea. We're gonna remove that back tab and then we're gonna work our way forward to remove the front tab like so. And we are going to once again wiggle jiggle to get that door to open up for us. There we go. Once the door is open, things do change though, because now we're gonna take this array and we're gonna slide it forward around that hinge. And then we can, at that point, lift it up and bring up our shoulder array. So now it's a little further forward. There's no bent angle on the fin. Uh, and otherwise functions the same. And we'll just close up that door in the back. And now your red version of the toy is in diver mode as well. The missiles underneath can or cannot be there. It's up to you. 
I'll put these ones back on. They do create a little bit of a clearance problem with the legs behind. And again, check out my full review on anymoon.com. You've had your fun in diver mode. You are ready to move on to soldier mode. And we're gonna begin that with the legs. And what we're gonna do is just kind of rotate the leg out. Create a little clearance for your wing there. Once you get it straight, you can straighten it out again. And then we're gonna take your foot and we're gonna get it into what looks like a heel and a toe position. And you're gonna take your kneecap and slide that back into position. And we will do the same thing on the other side here. Just rotate that, bring it in. And we got kind of our feet and legs in roughly in position. Then we could turn our attention to the front of the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and bring our arms down along the sides. We're going to wiggle jiggle this free here and we're gonna extend it forward on the hinge. Now underneath you do have the head. It's not connected to anything so it shouldn't be getting in the way, but we'll bring that forward. And then that's gonna allow us to ratchet the chest pieces forward. Now as we do this, let's get both sides ratcheted forward here. So we're gonna bring these both forward. Now, as we bring everything forward, we're gonna bring our winglets forward as well. And you can see there's actually a peg between there where they connect. So then this whole nose section just folds right over. And we have this trap door from diver mode that's inset now. So we're just gonna push that there. We bring our wings back and they have a joint that allows them to bend like so. What you wanna do is there's a peg here, there's a slot there. You wanna bend these in so that they are fishing behind the winglets and then connect that peg to the nose cone. So let's get that in there. You will not have a camera and lights in front of your face, so that'll be easier for you. All right, so we get that done and connect it. And then that creates a really solid back to the soldier mode. Now we spin the toy around. We're just gonna bring the head forward like so, and we're gonna pull the chest out, bring the arms down, and you are in soldier mode. Going back to the tray your toy came in, you have an optional chest filler piece, and that just has the intake closed up and armored. Here you can see I've got it installed on one side, not installed on the other side. This would be more for fighter and diver modes, theoretically. To replace it, you just pull it forward, find your other piece, Make sure you've got it in the right position. Line up the outsides and just kind of apply pressure inward. And you do want to make sure you don't pinch the top too much. And there you go. Now your toy has all of its bits attached. It is in soldier mode. Let's pull that chest forward again. And it should look like this and be pretty stable in the process. Check out my full article and review on anymoon.com. And as always, Thanks for watching.